Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Begoma, the uh, ancestor of Beyblade. So as you can see there are essentially very small metal spinning tops that battle each other very much like in Beyblade. Um, and it's said there's only one factory left that's still producing these tops. And a website gives a good amount of information about Begoma. Uh, the game was very popular around the 1900s, but concept dates back to the 17th century Edo period, where they were made with seashells and filled with metal. Um, there's also many different sizes and shapes, uh, as you can see here in this chart, um, that determine certain characteristics in battle, like um, movement and recoil. And for the ones I have, generally the shorter ones spin for less time and are harder to wind, um, but they have less recoil than the taller ones, which of course spin longer, are easier to wind, but are knocked out more easily because of that. So I purchased mine on um, some on eBay and some on Amazon.co.jp. Um, so for Amazon uh, Japan, they offer international shipping on certain uh, auctions, but not all of them, so just be careful of that, otherwise you're going to have to use a proxy service. Alright, so I guess I'll show you um, some of the ones that we'll be using for this battle. So this one is the Kendama, and the other one has a, a character on it. And um, essentially to wrap the string or to wind them, you want to put the string around the front of it and around the back, and there's two little knots, and those knots allow you to wrap the rest of the string either clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on whether you want to be right spin or left spin. Um, and that's pretty much it, you just gotta make sure it's very tight, and throw it, and there it is. Um, so, this wrapping the string does take a bit of time, uh, so I'm gonna speed up the clips here just a little bit, uh, so that we can get the battle going. And see how uh, they interact. Okay, so you can see here, these things are really aggressive. Um, I think it's just because they're basically uh, what octagon shaped, and that produces a lot of smash and recoil. Um, but yeah, so they do hit very, very hard, um, and when they get like hit into the wall or something, they lose quite a bit of spin. So you see here, this battle, uh, pretty much you just got hit once and then die. I don't want to use um, this uh, Begoma with my BB-10 or any other um, stadium that I really care about, uh, just because the tip is metal, the sides are metal, and I don't know, they hit really, really hard, so... I feel like it's going to crack the stadium or do something, so I'm using a, uh, a little Hasbro stadium. And even with the Hasbro stadium, you can see that they get knocked up very, very easily, and there's only two very small pockets. So that just shows how much uh, power these slow things have behind them. This last battle was pretty crazy. It was just a lot that was going on, and then basically had no spin left, and still got a knockout on that. So, so there it is. Those are the, the battles. I think that overall they're pretty interesting to see how much Beyblade has evolved uh, since these non-commercialized versions, where pretty much you just sit there wrapping the string, um, and now we have like automated launchers and things like that. If you like the video, uh, please let me know, and I can definitely make more of these, or maybe I'll do a video where I uh, battle a modern metal fight, and a, uh, I wouldn't say modern, because they're actually nine years old by now, but a metal fight, Beyblade, and a Begoma, I think that might be pretty fun. So let me know, um, and leave a comment down below. Thanks. Bye-bye. Uh,